In today's video, we're going to upgrade the lighting on a 99-2000 EK Civic the proper way by retrofitting Mini H1 6.0 HID Bi-Xenon projectors. Hey, it's Ryan from Luminetic Lighting, and let's get started. For this retrofit, you're going to need the following tools. A Phillips screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, a 10mm socket and wrench, rubbing alcohol, JB weld epoxy, pliers, nitrile gloves, and you have a 27mm socket and a drill. The first step is headlight preparation. If you're working with the headlights off your Civic, you'll need to remove the front bumper and then remove both headlights. In our case, we're actually working with replica headlights, so we don't need to do that. The next step you want to do is remove any rubber fittings, bulbs, bulb holders, and any sort of metal clips that are on the headlight. We're going to be putting this into the oven, so we don't want any rubber fittings or bulbs melting or exploding in the headlight. Step 2. Baking the headlights. In order to remove the lens, we'll need to bake the headlights. Preheat the oven to 270 Fahrenheit and place the headlights in the center of the oven for 7 minutes. If you can, place the headlight on a cookie sheet to prevent the metal rack from melting lines into the headlight. Step 3. Removing the headlight lens. Put some gloves on to prevent the sealant from sticking onto your fingers and hands. Start by lifting the tabs along the bottom and the top of the headlight. Usually it's easiest if you start separating the headlights from the corner using a flathead screwdriver. And here's a tip. If you can, have the lens on the top of the headlight housing and pull away so that the sealant doesn't stick back onto the headlight lens. Step 4. Removing the bulb shield. Back out the two headlight adjusting screws to move the reflector bulb far away enough from the headlight so you can access the screw that holds the bulb shield. Tip. Unlike what I did, you can use a drill with a socket on the end to back out these adjusting screws faster. I just used a socket wrench. Keep backing out the two adjusting screws until you have enough room to access the screw that holds the bulb shield in. Remove the bulb shield. Step 5. Projector install. You're, along with your projector, you'll need the silicone grommet, the H4 adapter, and the locking nut. Unscrew the bulb holder from the back of the projector if it's still currently installed. Next slide the silicone grommet provided onto the back of the Mini H1 projector. Thread the two wires for the solenoid hole through the reflector bowl. Insert the H4 adapter at the back of the reflector bowl and insert projector into the center hole.
screw on the locking nut onto the back of the projector, only until it's about finger tight. You don't want to screw it on too tight yet as you still need to align the projector. Step 6. Aligning to projector horizontally. Install your H1 bulb onto the projector with the bulb holder and the clip. You can install the headlight back onto the car temporarily and hook up your ballast to turn on the bulb. Or if you have, you can power the bulb with a power supply. As we didn't completely tighten the locking nut on the back of the projector, you can now make adjustments by rotating the projector so that it's perfectly horizontal. Step 7. Tightening the locking nut. Once you've aligned the projectors, you can tighten the locking nut. You can use a 27mm socket if you have one. Be sure to hold on to the front of the projector while you tighten the locking nut to prevent it from rotating further. Step 8. Shroud install. We're using an E46 extended shroud which has a 3 inch opening. Our mini H1 projector has a 2.5 inch opening, which means we need to use a centric ring. Press and clip in the centric ring. Be sure to wipe down the contact areas on the lens, centric ring and also the reflector bowl as you won't have a chance to clean the back of the reflector bowl once the shroud has been installed. Mix up some JB Weld epoxy and apply some to the circumference of the lens and the inside of the centric ring. Slide in the shroud and centric ring all the way into the projector lens. Rotate the shroud and make sure that everything is aligned properly. The JB Weld epoxy will take a few minutes to set, but a few hours to cure. Step 9. Cleaning the area. Next you want to wipe down the lens shroud and reflector bowl with some rubbing alcohol to clean any dust and fingerprints that may have placed when we were installing everything. Step 10. Butyl rubber. We're about to seal up the headlights, but we want to make sure there's enough sealant around the headlight to create a proper seal. Apply any butyl rubber by stretching it out and placing it into the groove of the headlights in areas where needed. Step 11. Now we're actually going to close the headlight up. Align and place the lens onto the headlight. Align the tabs and place the tabs back onto the lens.
you can use pliers to squeeze the lens back onto the headlight. Step 12, baking. Put the headlight back into the oven at 270 degrees Fahrenheit for seven minutes. Use a cookie sheet if possible. Step 13, now that the sealant is soft and pliable, use pliers to squeeze the lens back onto the headlight further. Ensure that all the hooks onto the tab are in place. Step 14. Install any rubber fittings back onto the headlight as these help drain any water that get into the headlight. Wipe down the headlight lens if needed. Now you're done. Install these bad boys back onto the car, fire up your HIDs, and make the necessary adjustments. All right guys, I hope this video has helped you. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. And if you want more information about the Mini H1 6.0 projector, I'll link it up below or you can visit luminaticlighting.com. Thanks for watching.